What's up everybody? My name is Robert Rushing with MPH Club and we're back with another review. Today we've got the Lamborghini Huracan Evo. This monster is the replacement to the Huracan base model and the end of the Performante. This has all of the features and qualities of what makes the Huracan incredible. It's just been refined, upgraded, and today we're going to dive into all the features, check out some of the specs, and do our best to explain how incredible it is to drive this car. Ready? Let's go. Now we're here in Wynwood and we're going to speak a little bit about the exterior of the Evo. There's a few key design changes and one of the first you might notice is on the front splitter. Instead of the regular splitter, you have a new Lamborghini-esque Y-styled splitter. This actually increases downforce. You'll also notice on the hood you have these two indents and these are actually a design reminiscent of the Countach. Also has a little more aerodynamics. Uh, you'll see back here this is a totally different side skirt vent. This is super similar to the Mercy Lago. So all of these changes are really coming from Lamborghini designs from the past. And probably the most significant, as you might already know, is the exhaust system. Okay. So the main design difference in the back exhaust system is changing the valves from down here and lifting them up. This opens the rear diffuser to produce more downforce. This is a more efficient path for the exhaust system. And this design actually comes from Lamborghini models of the old. So it's brand new yet classically Lamborghini. And probably what most people will recognize is the biggest difference from the Huracan to the Evo. So all of these design changes have been to keep in mind performance, and to amplify the everyday driving experience. That's exactly what this car is meant to do, is to take everything that makes a Lamborghini amazing and special and create the most comfortable daily driver you can out of an insane car. So, we'll check out some of the details now. That was some of the dumbest driving I have ever seen in my life. Thank you. There's something special about suspension systems in all top of the line Lamborghini models, including the Evo. I'm gonna try my very best to pronounce this right. The Magneto Rhetorical, nope, Rheological Suspension System. The Rheological Suspension System is basically a smart fluid. So suspended in your, your fluid are these magnetic particles, which when an electromagnetic field is introduced, line up and more fluid is allowed to pass. That, coupled with the double wishbone, creates an incredible suspension system, and all of that is super technical and sciencey, but basically magic magnets, and that's all you need to know. All right, so now we're in the interior, which at first seems like a hurricane, except for the giant elephant in the room. This 8.4 inch touch screen infotainment system. The Evo needed this really bad. So we've been expecting the newest edition of the Huracan to have something similar to this and Lamborghini outdid themselves. This uh, is super intuitive. Uh, this is the brand new brain which interprets a lot of the different systems and moving parts to take in data from the driver and adjusts accordingly for an excellent everyday driving experience. But there's just so many awesome things about this touchscreen we're gonna explore in a second. This is the screen with the classic hexagonal design throughout all Lamborghini models. <laughs> you have your AC controls here, which I need to turn on blast because it's hot outside in Florida. Uh, we have your heated and cooled seats, which is super cool, all of your Bluetooth. And it's not so invasive from the driving experience. What's really neat is while you're driving, and you want to adjust the volume, you don't have to go through the different folders and like distract yourself. It's a two finger design where you can just hold two fingers and it'll scroll up and down the volume for you. Everything you need is right here and it's not too difficult. Uh, there's nothing hidden in the menus, uh, which is 
refreshing compared to some of the other exotic supercars that we rent. Some cars have the lift gate buried somewhere in the menu and it takes a while for people to find. We sometimes get calls at night trying to ask how to lift the car up a couple inches and like the McLarens, for example, really have a hidden... Anyway, this new system is awesome. Simple, simplistic, clean, and classically Lamborghini. You also have basically everything else super similar to the Huracan. All of your features here. You have your windows, your hazards, a lift gate to lift the front of the car over bumps. I believe this lift gate actually goes up for about three inches so you can clear anything. We also have right here a cup holder, which is super slick. That's cool. That's really cool. So, and you just push it right back in when you don't have the drink. Uh, there's no storage space, <laughs> but it's a Lamborghini. You're not looking for storage space. There never has been, unless you're in a Urus. But the Huracan has just this shelf here, which um, similar to the Aventador, it, it can fit like a small briefcase or maybe a backpack if you crush it. But yeah, not a ton of storage space, but that doesn't matter. You're in an incredible Lamborghini. Um, we can't ignore this incredible red stitching throughout the bucket seat racing chairs. We have Huracan Evo stitched here with the Italian colors throughout the whole interior. As you can see, this is super premium. Um, you also have a super small sun blocker with an even smaller mirror. That's fine. <laughs> the whole experience is to drive. The reason you're getting this is to drive an insane car. The whole thing is super driver focused and it shows. You have two USB ports so you can charge, a cigarette lighter right here, a little armrest piece, your parking brake. This is how you pull it up for reverse. People have driven Lamborghinis are super used to seeing this. This is in a lot of the other models as well. A button to put yourself in park, a button to lock into manual, your iconic start and stop button with the red lift. And yeah, other than like all of these features, it's, it's the Huracan. But Lamborghini has made the Evo an amplified everyday driving experience. And I have to agree, everything that's different from the Huracan to this is significant, needed, and well appreciated. Okay, the infamous Lamborghini V10 5.2 liter engine, kicking out 640 horsepower, 420 pound-feet of torque, the rev meter going all the way up to 8,000, just screaming banshee out of hell. This thing is insane. Um, we're going to test this car, but we're gonna treat it respectfully, and we're gonna be really nice to the car, and we're just going to do that. like the Aventador is. Um, this is comfortable. You can daily this car. I could drive this MPH Club every day and be perfectly happy. <laughs> Haley, how's it going? Good, what's up Robert? How's the review going? It's going well. Yeah, we're almost done with it now. Oh good, exciting. No, I'm doing stupid brother. <laughs> Try to stay I'll see you when you get back to the office. Okay, sounds good. See you soon.
All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. We love the Evo. This is an incredible car. And if you're ever in Miami and need to rent an exotic vehicle, come to MPH Club. We'll hook you up with this. And uh, if we missed anything, let us know in the comments. Be sure to check out all of our vlog episodes in the club. Be sure to come to the design district and come to the pop-up that we have. Tons of art, cool cars. Yeah, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.